this gaming token set to run in the upcoming bull market? Let's find out. Welcome back. It is episode 16 of the Alpha Show. Before we get started, make sure you sign up for Lunar Crush. 25% off when signing up with Alpha 25. How do you think I find all this Alpha, you guys? Get in there and check it out. What is on tap for tonight? We're talking Nakamoto games. And I know what you're saying. Joe, 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 stop. Don't, don't show me play to earn tonight. I don't want to hear it. It's dead. Is it? I don't know. Play to earn can work with the right incentive model. And most importantly, what I think is it needs to happen is an understanding of what you're selling. And th there's a bunch of things I like about Nakamoto games, you know, going through the last bear cycle, it was pretty rough. Uh, Axie Infinity, there's a lot of different games that were out there that did really well. Some things petered off, some things have continued to kind of build. Uh, but no one really liked the model uh, over the bear market. Obviously, a lot of people loved it in the bull market. We're going back to a bull market. I think that there's some room for this. So, um, you know, what do I like about these guys? There's a bunch of little things that I like. Um, you know, even, even the most fu fun games out there, they die, right? Look at uh, what happened with Pokemon Go, right? There's a fad. The fad happens. Things go away. And so you have to stay on top of what you're selling. So with these guys, something that's really interesting is these guys just churn games out. They're, they're just, there are so many different games in here. I can't even keep track of everything that's happening. Uh, free to earn, free to play, um, play to earn games, different modes, challenger modes. They've got uh, single player, they've got multiplayer. And, you know, it, it, it's pretty interesting that they're not, these aren't like majorly elaborate games that these guys are creating. They're kind of just like churning out fun stuff. And that's kind of what you need to keep people enticed and keep people coming back is just to keep it fresh. And so I, I like the fact that they've just kind of created a ton of different games out there. It's really easy to get started. You can sign up with an email, you can sign up with your discord, you connect your wallet and you're off to the races playing a bunch of these games, interacting with people. They've got chats in every single one of these games so you're you've got that uh social media kind of feel to it as well with other people that are playing with you so you know from a product perspective it's pretty interesting obviously it's out there it works right some tokens don't, don't even have that um and so this is you know pretty fun to see all these different games out there so definitely come in here check this out see what they've got going and uh interact and let me know what you think with some of these things um again like these are not paid endorsements whatsoever like these are things that i see um, in, uh, you know, my, my day to day on lunar crush is I'm seeing social media kind of pop off. And this came up today, um, looking at tokenomics here really quick, you know, so this is a very simple sheet here, just talking about like the total supply and what was, uh, sold, um, you know, there were team and advisor tokens and some vesting schedules. You know, this token was launched in October of, uh, 2021, I believe. Um, and so a lot of the vesting has come out already. Um, so that's kind of what you like to see as well is that. The investors and some of the team it's out there people have probably sold if they're going to sell if they're going to hold they're going to hold um and so hopefully they've hit that part in their in their life cycle of what's going on um and so you know the the release schedule came out and you know obviously this is what you know you're going to see in the first uh yeah october 2021 this is what you're going to see in those first couple of months is a lot of volatility when supply is really really low but things are getting released and then you know people dumping on the market now in these guys defense this time period specifically october that was kind of like the height of what was going on in the just in the uh web3 industry in general this was the top of the market in crypto um in that cycle and so these guys have actually been fighting a bear market since basically the week they've launched uh maybe a maybe like a couple week period in here where it was it bounced around but basically right when they launched they were fighting this uh, bear market for this entire period of time and so you do see a lot of charts like this and so if there are charts that are specifically like this and then they completely flatline, that's obviously not what you want, but you can see, you know, in the, especially the projects that have made it through this long, um, there's gotta be some, there's some resiliency in this team to continue to build, um, to continue to push out games and to continue to follow with the, uh, through with the token. 
because a lot of times people will just drop it. They'll start a new one. They'll start something new. Um, and so these guys continue to push and you can see that volume has started to come back in this last cycle and starts to move up. Um, so, you know, I think that's a pretty bullish thing all in all to look at, um, get in here, do your own due diligence, but definitely kind of check out what this looks like. And yes, you know, it's, it's way up off its, um, its bottom as well. So pretty cool to see that, you know, kudos to these guys to making that happen. You know, markets are pretty liquid. Um, you know, they've got some centralized exchanges and then they've got, um, they've got quick swap on the decks and, you know, pretty one thing that, you know, you don't normally see in a project, which is kind of cool. I, I kind of like this is that, you know, they do have, you know, the total supply, max supply. So, um, you know, circulating supply. So there's still some token that needs to come out, um, into the market, but it's all on Polygon. Um, and it's not about necessarily Polygon. Uh, I think it's more about the fact that they just chose a chain and they are sticking to it. And you don't actually see that a ton. You see people kind of like bridging all over the place. And so I think that actually speaks to this team a little bit because it, it shows that they're focused. Um, you know, if you are bridging all over the place, there's obviously positives to that, to different um, investors, different liquidity pools. And if you can make it happen, I think it's probably a more ideal scenario, but it's very difficult to do. And so by concentrating the effort onto one chain, you know, they're probably also, you know, maybe supported even by Polygon a little bit more because of that, because they can then reach out to Polygon and say, hey, guys, we're not bridging all over the place like everyone else. We're focused on building on Polygon. We want this to work, you know, help us out. Um, and so not everyone has the ability to go and do something like that and then reach out to those larger layer one communities that can then drive a lot of users for them. So pretty cool to see that. Um, you know, you can definitely get into, uh, you know, Polygon scan and check that out. You can see the total supply here on Polygon. 25,000 holders, almost a million transfers. So a lot of a lot of action, uh, a lot of trading, everything on here. It's also probably really nice and easy that it's all concise right here on Polygon, which is pretty cool. Um, taking a look at the social here, you know, this is a one-year chart of Nakamoto Games. And, you know, you can see, you know, this is a, a, a phenomenal one-year chart for 500% for, you know, anything like 500%. You know, if we're talking to the, if you're a boomer out there and you're investing into your 401k, you know, that's a, an entire lifetime of returns um, at your 8 to 12% that uh, you guys are shilling us to to keep pushing into, uh, into those uh, iShare American funds, which we're not going to do. Um, so, you know, great return over a year, but you know, this is, uh, something that is pretty cool that I like to look at is, you know, it's, this is literally the reason we started Lunar Crush was to look at what does the groundswell of community look like over time. And when you're out on different social media networks, you see stuff flying through your feed. You can't really keep track in a time series way over time how many creators or influencers are talking about something, how many people are just posting um, about a different project. And so we, that's literally why we built Lunar Crush to look at that. And so when I see a project like this, uh, it's pretty exciting because, you know, if I look at the number of creators over time, you know, it, over the last year, you know, we're talking 50 people, 60 people a day to now almost a thousand people a day talking about this, talk about the number of posts per creator. Um, that's also in the exact trajectory upwards that you want to see. This is like the exact groundswell that you want to see. If we're talking about the number of interactions over time, it's the same kind of feel there where they are kind of driving this sustained groundswell of excitement about their project over time. You can even see the market volume in here increasing over this time. And it is even increased back, you know, when the rest of the market was really not moving much uh, back in Q4 of last year. And so, you know, just all around, I'm seeing just a lot of things that I like uh, to see. Um, and, you know, regardless, you know, even in the, in the tokenomics of the project, in the in the price of what's happening over time, um, in the social side of what's happening over time, you know, regardless of even what the product looks like. And, you know, if you're a gamer, you know that there's just lots of different types of games that are out there. Um, you know, if you're someone that loves a storyline and loves, you know, competing to different levels, you know, those games are out there, but, you know, it seems like they've got a nice, they know who they are in building these games out and keeping it fresh and keeping it consistent with what's going on. Um, so, Really interesting project. Definitely get out there, check these guys out. Um, you know, pretty cool to see. You know, the number of creators even that are build that are talking about this over a thousand creators in the last twenty four hours. Um, you know, two thousand posts, one point six million interactions. 
Uh, most posts are, you know, either neutral, talking about it in a neutral way or positive way. So it's literally 99% of people talking about it in, you know, a, a neutral or positive way. That's what you want to see. And then, you know, just tons of content out there, people talking about the games and what's going on. So, you know, all in all, just like really quality, what you want to see for a project. So that's what I got for tonight. Nakamoto games. Pretty cool. I appreciate you guys being here for episode 16 of the alpha show, and we will 